We're currently watching uh, the first first round of the day, and uh, we are watching the match of Germany against France. On the other side here, here we're watching a game of Sweden against Italy. I will get back to that later. Current scores on the left side, Germany, France, 8 7. So the first triple was won by France with the 13 3 against Germany. Second triple is now. Uh, In game, Germany won that round. So let's see how many points they have made. Hannes Halle spielt da zusammen mit Rafael Garani und uh, Lara Koch. 10-7 für Deutschland. 10-7 for for Germany right now there. So the Germany still has a chance here to get into this game, get into this round against France with a 1-1 after the triples. On the other side, Sweden still leading the final masculine triplet here on the right side. Leading their match with a score of 11 1. Against Italy. Very nice opening here. Not bad at all from Lara. Just a little to the left. 60, 50, 60 centimeters on the left. What it looks like is that uh, the French team here against Germany have a lot of. Uh, of is trying now to uh, get into the game. Cheering, asking the French public here to help the French players a little. For France is playing over there, uh, Claudie Weibel. <laughs> they for sure uh, want to win here, of course, uh, France. Let's see who can stop them today. So, a very warm welcome here for everybody at this European Cup Final 2012 in Germany. Brought to you by Tankform.nl, Tankexclusive.com. 
it's very nice of you guys at home to be with us today. German crowd going crazy with every good, play, well played uh, bull here. Uh, the facts are that if Germany wants to compete in this Euro Cup uh, somehow, uh, they have to uh, get start winning some games. Yesterday, and unfortunately, 5 0 uh, defeat against Belgium. So good for Belgium, but obviously not good for Germany. So if Germany wants to mingle themselves in the competition here, they have to do something um, with their next opponent. And the next opponent now is France. And you could do a little bit uh, easier there. Well, yesterday uh, the drawing was made. And the facts are is that uh, Germany, uh, if they want to do something here, they uh, have to win from uh, France. In fact, with a 5-0 defeat yesterday against Belgium, they have to win from France. And that would be the hardest job ever. Score now is 10-7 for Germany. Get a quick look at the Swedish game. Score there is 11-2. Uh, uh, the Italian has made one point. Uh, the Italian not given up here. Trying to get a 2-0 lead for the doubles. Because the Italian won the first game. Won the first triple. The triple mixed. It's won by the Italian. Score there was 13-5 for Italian. So Belgium has a free round, this first round of today. I have not seen any of the Belgian players, so uh, I think they're coming in a little late. It's probably not a very bad thing to have a first round of today, a free round. Nope, it's not bad at all. Oh well. Let's see what uh, Claudia Weibel is trying to do here. No, it goes out to the right immediately. It's 
three points for uh, the French team. So the score now is 10-10. Uh, The other uh, French team uh, was were playing at least uh, Jean-François Hémont and André Lozano. Third person, I do not know him right now. It's not that important. We're going to get back to it with that. Uh, for Germany was playing uh, Vincent Probst and Sasha Koff. But they lost their first game here. French have uh, played the, the Cochonet about uh, not 10 meters, I think, 9, 10 meters, 3, 4. As, as always, as normal also. short from uh, Rafael there so it jumped over and the German team decides to uh, get a pointing ball in first and uh, Lara is gonna do that let's see how good it will be maybe point be very nice of course but that's a little long that isn't too good they have to be careful uh, now uh, what they're gonna decide for their next bull uh, with this decision to uh, point again uh, it's obvious that it has to be on point on between uh, the caution and the bull it's a little short. It's not bad. A little over to the right. A little short. And they're gonna have to decide what they're gonna do now. And point again. On the cochonet. Or maybe shoot uh, the cochonet out of the game. Because the French have five bulls left. The Germans only three. It looks like they're uh, deciding to uh, to point. The score of an uh, Italian Sweden Swedish game is uh, two twelve. Yeah, very important bull here from the German team. Uh, it goes over to the right doesn't do anything to uh, the French have an opportunity here to finish this game and win it and get a 2-0 lead when they go into the doubles so I would say the only option here is to shoot the caution shoot the caution uh, out of the field so that they still have a chance in winning these triples, otherwise uh, they will lose, I think. Because uh, the French team has five balls left here. Very nice of you guys all to be with us, and they're going to shoot the caution in. 
Luckily, our cameraman has zoomed in on the, the cautionaire so we can see uh, if uh, Rafael Guerrani is gonna hit it. Very important shot here. Oh, that just went over a little. Just for you guys at home, the distance we are playing here is about 10 meters. Nine and a half, ten meters. It's a very nice shot, but just a little too long. And that means that uh, the French are going to win this game. And again, like yesterday, uh, the Germans uh, got a good lead in this game. 8-7 uh, and 10-7. It's a very nice pointed bull here from uh, Hannes Halle. But it's too late. Monsieur Claudie Webel uh, will go to the circle and uh, shoot uh, probably a crow on this ball. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it just cleans it up a little, but it's still point, I think. And after cameraman. The bull behind the cautionaire is point, so you have to move the camera to the right a little, if it's possible. There's standing people in front of it, so we can't see anything. But he didn't hit the bull. There it is. That's pretty uh, merc worthy. It's pretty strange, in fact. But the French have still three bulls left, so still no problem there. The only thing he needs to do is uh, shoot the bull, and then they have two bulls left to point the two bulls in, and then they still can still win this game. Shouldn't be a big of a problem. Uh, that's also uh, not a hit, and I would say uh, strange because it was on the right side. A little too long, also. So it's a little bit strange uh, what's happening here. The French have a really good chance in winning this game here, but then of course they have to hit one bull. And As in now, they hit, didn't hit any bull, so. The situation now is that he probably needs to shoot a Caro for the win. He didn't do that. Um, right now I'm looking for some image confirmation on where are the other bulls. So maybe we can get a clear view of it that the French can only get two points here. I think so. That's also uh, very short. Cloudy Weibel is uh, looking uh, pretty uh, not happy. And the French only scored one point here. So that was a definitely really, really good chance here for the French team to get a lead of 2 0. And uh, with a 2 0 Z. Uh, 2-0 lead you can get have a good chances in the in the doubles score now is a uh, 11 10 uh, bonjour pour notre visiteur de la france uh, on regarde dans le deuxième tour de euro cup final 2012 uh, l'équipe de ronde pétanque de match Joue contre l'équipe de Allemagne, de München Kugelwerf Union. Le score dans la première triplette masculine, c'est 13-3 pour la France. Et le score de, dans le triplette mixte, on regarde dans la caméra maintenant, c'est 11-10. L'autre est équipe pour aujourd'hui. Dans le deuxième tour, c'est l'équipe de l'Italie et l'équipe de Suède. Le score dans le 
joueur de Italie et Chouvet de 13-5 pour l'Italie. L'autre triplet mixte c'est 13-12-3. 12-3. Pour la Suède. Bon. Italie a gagné la première triplette mixte. Euh, le triplet masculine s'est joué maintenant contre la Suède. Suède, Italie, 12-3. dans la caméra le triplet masculine de la Suède contre l'Italie en tricot bleu le Suède en tricot rouge So very nice of you all to tune in uh, this early already with us here in uh, Rastatt, Germany, hosting nation of this Euro Cup Finals 2012. Thank you, uh, Eternal. My French is not that good, but I hope uh, everybody is understanding my English or uh, Deutsch or the German or uh, my uh, a little bit of French that I'm capable of. Back to the to the left side. In France, Germany against France. try and get a visual of how many bulls are uh, being uh, that still need to be played in this round look like uh, the French only have two bulls and uh, the German have at least three bulls so the Germans have at least uh, have a bull uh, advantage here and they're right now on the point so we're gonna have to see uh, how this will end. The French will uh, point a bull in now. Uh, that went a little long. And it's just a little over to the left side. Maybe we can ask the cameraman to switch the camera a little bit to the left. So we can get a visual of the bull on the left side of the blue line. That's perfect, yeah, thank you. 
because we have can have a visual of the situation here. Claudio Weibel will have to point his last bull uh, in the direction of the bull on the right side. That's a German bull. Uh, then the Germans have three bulls left to arrange something here and try and get three points. Oh, that went completely long. from uh, Claudio Weibel, so uh, this could be li just like a soccer game. If you have a chance in scoring uh, goals, and if you're not scoring them, on the other side the, the opponent only needs one chance and they'll score a goal immediately. And especially when you're sp when you're um, playing against Germans, as uh, we Dutch people really good know that the fight ain't over until it's over. Till the in soccer the clock is ticking, and the referee has whistled his last whistle, and in bull of course uh, when the last point, thirteenth point, is in, is in the game. So the Germans uh, have measured here uh, what if they're going to have a shot for two, and uh, probably uh, they'll probably do, because Rafael Garan is going to the circle, and he's trying to shoot the bull on the left side for more points here for Jimmy. Uh, that one is a little long. Rafael Garani for a second shot. When he shoots a Caro, they really have a good chance in winning this. Year. He just uh, hits the ball, but it uh, probably is enough for uh, two points. So the last uh, bull here from uh, Hannes only has to come in. And then the Germans uh, will win this game, 13-11, and still have an opportunity to uh, to win this uh, match against uh, France. As if, if not, it will be very difficult. And now they can have a 1-1 in the triples. Oh, that bull goes over to the right. It is an on-camera image, but that bull went completely over to the right side. So how unfortunately is this, just like the French, the Germans had a chance now, but they didn't end this game and the score now is 12-11, uh, pretty exciting. Here on the public uh, we're seeing uh, in the front row is uh, foremost uh, French uh, people, in the second row is uh, German people. But of course uh, the well-known uh, flags from Munich, the blue-white flag of Bayern.
que le, les joueurs pour le, les équipes de France maintenant, ici, dans le triple de mix de Claudie Vabo, avec euh, Stéphane Le Bourgeot, et la femme, la femme c'est Chantal Zalaris. Very nice shot from uh, Rafael Garani there. Bull stays in place. Rafael Garani and Hannes Haller. It's for Germany are playing right now Rafael Garani, Lara Koch and Hannes Haller. The other game, uh, Sweden Italy, has uh, ended. Uh, Sweden won that uh, triples uh, masculine, so uh, the score uh, there after the triple round is 1 1. Italy Sweden 1 1. Claudi Weibel uh, shoots, uh, misses, but he shoots the caution uh, on the, the far end of the playground, in the upper left co left corner from the playground. There uh, is now the little white dot, white caution there. Uh, so the score here is 12-11. 12 11 pour euh, l'Allemagne maintenant uh, the French have uh, three bulls left I think let me check that there also be two bulls Yes, it looks like uh, the French have uh, two bulls left here, and uh, Germany at least three bulls. So it looks like it's going to be a second chance for the German team to win this uh, triple here. So it looks like the French uh, team is uh, going to point a bull. And that pointed bull of the French team went completely out of the playfield on the left side. He took a little risk there in uh, wanting to uh, point the bull that's somewhat good. But he took a little chance there and the bull bounces over to the left side and the bull went out. So uh, the last uh, bull of uh, the French team, Claudie Weibel. Also goes out of the playground <laughs> completely out on the left side so the Germans win here 1-1 one, one. obviously a very happy uh, happy ending here for the Germans 
still have a really good chance here in uh, beating France and uh, trying to trying to make themselves count in this European final. It's a very extraordinary event here, uh, in fact, uh, that the Germans uh, win the, the, the triple uh, game. <coughs> after, after that uh, chance for the French, they shouldn't have lost this uh, game. But, like I said, uh, the Germans never gave up. They played well. They survived the chance from uh, the French team. They themselves had to needed two chances but the second one they got it and they won this, this round and obviously a very good result here for uh, for the Germans triples 1-1 one, one. victoire de Munich the score dans le deuxième tour de Euro Cup uh, L'équipe de France euh, ronde betank match contre l'Allemagne München Kugelwerfenion. Un partout. Very nice uh, betank here at this uh, early morning already. We've seen some high level uh, bull yesterday. And uh, right now we're uh, waiting uh, for the doubles to start. We're probably going to need uh, 10 to 15 minutes to uh, get this up and running over here. So we will be right back with you with some commentary on uh, the doubles. Le the match uh, doublette. On commence en 10 ou 15 minutes. L'équipe de France contre l'équipe d'Allemagne. Et bien sûr, là, à droite, l'équipe d'Italie contre l'équipe de la Suède. Nous allons gleich weiter mit dem euh, double Runde Deutschland-Frankreich. Und Schweden, Italien. Deutschland in, äh, steht jetzt 1-1 gegen Frankreich und hat jetzt noch eine Chance zu gewinnen gegen Frankreich und ist eigentlich nötig, wenn sie noch was reizen wollen hier in diesem Europa Cup Final. Andere Seite ist auch alles noch offen. Italien gegen Schweden. Da ist der Spielstand auch 1-1 nach den Triplets. So, da ist auch noch mehrere Sachen möglich. Äh, Papa Dom, ist pas bien. Le Triplet de Munich ist pas de Sacha Koch. Le Salaris, le Bourgeot et Weibel pour la France, c'est correct. Il joue contre Lara Koch, Raphael Garani et Hannes Haller dans le triplet mixte. Merci Papa Dom. Pas de problème Papa Dom. Jachakor par le joueur de la triplette masculine perdu à 3 contre André Lozano et Jean-François Raymond ah, le troisième je ne sais pas maintenant
kan op, ja. Ja, jongen. Ja, dat moet ik toch niet blijven.
Thank you. 